Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another video of Utah Macross with me. As you can hear, I probably might not sound so myself um, because I'm actually sick. Uh, I've been sick for the past um, five days already and I haven't been uploading any content since. So I apologize for that. So anyway guys, um, since it's a brand new event, I'm trying my best to actually play. Uh, um, but because of my stamina and my health, I may not do so well this event. <laughs> anyway guys, um, we're gonna talk about what's brand new since the update for this game. Um, there really isn't much, uh, except the, the fact that they've included the 3 Diva uh, live performance at the background. And of course, um, if we go into the event tab, uh, we will see that they have arranged uh, the menu in a uh, different way. So we're gonna take a look at it. Alright, so let's go into the event tab here. Um, first thing you'll notice that the whole menu setup has suddenly become a lot more compressed. And the menu bar here is a lot longer. And of course, the usual blue button and the white buttons have been shifted to the top right corner here. Alright, so if you tap the high score challenge, you can see straight away that yeah, it's the same thing. Um, so this is how you preview your high score points uh, that you accumulated with your EX battles. I haven't been doing so well uh, because I've been actually trying to challenge uh, higher difficulty than I normally do. I'm currently on rank 20 as you can see. And then of course you have the blue button um, which is now compressed with compro compromised with two different icons um, that you can tap. So of course this one is your battle class reset. Of course, um, always take note of your gauge before you actually reset your um, battle rank. Yeah, your battle class. And of course there's this new icon here, which is brand new for this current um, event setup. Um, in the past, when you play um, the battles, um, you will actually see the icons of your divas light, light it up. I'll show you a small clip here. And yeah, you now with this button here, you can actually um, have it switched off. So yeah, um, I think having it on is a better choice because um, it actually helps you indicate where, whether you're uh, doing better than your opponent or not. Um, I don't understand why people think that it's a nuisance that they want it switched off. Maybe the pro players might want it switched off because uh, it might distract them from having to tap the notes accurately. Um, but I think it's a fine, uh, fine nuisance <laughs> or a fine indicator uh, personally. But well, each their own, I guess. So well, it's up to you whether you want it on or off. So anyway, guys, um, with that in mind. Um, I'm just gonna jump straight to the gacha right now. Alright guys, so we're gonna talk about the brand new gacha uh, that has brought uh, been brought upon us. As you can see, we have two of them. One of them is a returning gacha, and of course one of them is a brand new one, which is Freya. And of course, if you didn't know by now, the next gacha we are getting uh, for this event is actually Makina's uh, Resonance costume as well. So yeah. <coughs> Anyway guys, um, let's talk about the episode plates um, for this gacha and are they actually worth pulling? So if you take a look at Freya's plate, she has a total of 3,274 um, and mostly in the soul factor. So if you take a look at this plate itself, it's actually indicating what you need um, for high score in this current event. So you need plates that actually give you good soul. Yeah, and she actually does have a pretty good high uh, voice compared to Charm. So <coughs> overall, Freya's plate is pretty uh, looking pretty good. Um, her center skill is of S rank. Alright, so the unit equipped with this plate will have its soul and voice boosted by 45%. So that's pretty much what you need for the high score in this current event. <coughs> the active skill, however, is only at A rank. And it lasts for 10 seconds, which will help you boost your score of 100%. So, that's pretty good as well, um, considering that we need score uh, boosting for high score events. 
So Freya's plate is definitely ideal for this current event, which is why they are promoting it as a brand new plate. And of course, her light life skill is of S rank as well which is pretty good as well so overall in terms of uh, event high score plate Freya's plate is definitely looking on a uh, much brighter side right at the beginning of the sec 60 second mark for uh, 12 seconds yeah um, yeah apparently you have an easier time tapping um, your notes so <coughs> Overall, I will give Freya's plate a very positive review. So if you do have the singing stones to try and obtain her plate, uh, do so. Not just for the costume points, um, definitely in terms of usage, the plate is definitely going to help you a lot in the future. Alright, so um, let's take a look at the returning gacha and see whether Mikumo's and uh, Reina's plates are actually of equivalent uh, competitive uh, value. So let's take a look at Mikumo's one first. Um, of course, um, Mikumo has a pretty decent uh, total average score. And of course, she boosts soul and voice, which is very good for this current event as well. Uh, but sadly to say, she's of a different element. Um, because Ichido Dake Kori Nara is actually a pink element song. So yeah, that's not going to help uh, in terms of uh, score boosting um, on... Well, a sublimo level. So, anyways, uh, her center skill boosts um, Inochi plates, which is blue. Um, so, yeah, uh, any blue plates equipped on the unit uh, total will be increased by thirty five percent. So that's pretty okay. Um, if you're playing um, high score challenge, which requires a total of all the plates being blue, then her active skill and her life skills are looking at. Uh, pretty downside because they are both A rank skills. Her active skills, um, just like Freya's, for 10 seconds you'll boost 100% in your score. Excuse me. <coughs> Life skill at the beginning of the 45 second mark, for 10 seconds your combos do not break. So, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so her life skill is going to help you out for this current event, I guess. Um, especially if you are trying to clear the extreme levels of the songs. So Mikumo might actually do well as a support plate um, for this current event. But overall, I think it's below average for this current event. So certainly Mikumo may not be so beneficial for this current event. But still, um, in terms of an overall plate for a blue event for high score, um, she is ideal, uh, just for high score as active center plate. Yeah, um, alright, let's take a look at Reina's. Um, alright, Reina's plate has a very good total high score, which is what most of us would want. Um, her, her, her score is like evenly spread out, so which is a fantastic support plate, I guess, uh, considering that she has a A rank for her center skill. Which is basically your unit's life will be increased by 20% up. So yes, um, definitely not a plate for center position. Um, as you can see, her, her life skill is at S rank. So probably, um, as what I mentioned, this plate is already indicating that it's a very good support plate. So definitely a plate that you want to get for um, your, the, your divas at the sidelines. Which we can never get enough of uh, support plates. So yeah, and her active skill is basically to recover your life by 30% up. Um, then at the life skill at the beginning of the 32 second mark, for 14 seconds your score will be boosted by 80% up. So as you can see, Reina is definitely um, a plate for support and definitely a must to get as well if you have uh, insufficient support plates. And if you notice the name for the plate, it's all for one. <laughs> so, um, My Hero Academia reference. <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> all the plates, sadly, for the Resonance costumes do not have any special notes on them. So that's kind of sad. So, so far, what we have seen, we have seen Freya's, we have seen Makina's, we have seen uh, Mikomo's. Um, I can't really remember if um, Kaname has her Resonance costume. I think she hasn't gotten hers yet. So if I'm not wrong, I think she's the only one that doesn't have the resonant costumes uh, currently. Um, Makina is definitely getting her soon. Um, I may be wrong though. So 
Yeah. Don't, bl- <laughs> don't fault me on that. So definitely the plate to get from both sides, um, Freya's plate and Reina's plate. Um, if you're a Mikumo fan, don't worry. You can actually go ahead and get Mikumo's plate. Um, not just because of this current event, but more to prepare yourself for upcoming events that require high score boost. Um, yeah, so Mikumo fans don't fret. Uh, Mikumo's plate isn't exactly useless, uh, but probably not the best plate to have uh, equipped currently in this current event. Alright guys, so um, let me talk about the current event episode plates before I do my gacha pulls for this current um, gachas. So let's go into the episode plates. Um, yeah, so I've actually unlocked um, all of them already. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is one of them. So if you <coughs> take a look, um, I have not boosted um, Priya's um, 4 star plate to the max because there is no need to. I only need the costume points from the plate because this plate, you know, anything below 5 stars is definitely not worth maxing out. So yeah. Um, so as you can see on the 4 star plate, uh, its unit's life is about 5% up. Um, so for 1 second combos do not break. Oh, seriously, skills that only last for 1 second, what's the point? <laughs> Once you tap it and it's gone. So seriously, that's why I do not recommend uh, maxing out any plates that is below 5 stars because, well, um, yeah, it, it's kind of pointless and it's a waste of your resources then uh, this life skill is like um 65 second mark for three seconds your skill your score is boosted by 10 percent up so that's kind of pathetic and it doesn't even have any special notes along with the the plate itself so that's kind of sad so how about the events five star plates as you can see here i've already boosted it to the max so let's take a look at it <clears throat> no special notes on the episode plate itself which is kind of sad um Total score is 2056. It's kind of um, pretty high in terms of um, 5 star plates. So, this is a pretty decent plate in overall. And of course, it has the scores, um, the points on the soul, which is fantastic for this current event. But of course, the element of the plate is wrong. So, that's kind of sad as well. Alright, the unit equipped. Um, its total will be increased by 16% up. That is if it's in the center position. Um, it's active skill where well, it recovers 25% of your life which is pointless for this current event so this plate is definitely used more as a life um, a support plate so life skill so at a 15 second mark uh, it lasts for 8 seconds your score will be boosted by 16% up not the best skill definitely but I mean if you're um, a free to play player um, definitely having such plates around will be handy uh, especially if you don't have a lot of uh, 6 star plates uh, in your arsenal so yeah um, and of course if you have well put yourself in a very good ranking position for this current event and unlocking more episode plates of this version uh, to boost the secret boards and uh, your luck factor it's definitely going to help you out in your future events uh, to come um, so yeah, alright, so let's get down to uh, pulling the gachas, um, as you can see in the top right hand corner I've gotten quite a bit of gachas because one main thing is there is a singing stone sale right, going on right now, um, I've actually bought both of the packs, I don't know whether I will still see the advertisement here um, because <coughs> I think they programmed it in a way that once you have purchased it, um, it will disappear. So as you can see, yeah, it's not here anymore. So there is a singing stone offer currently going on um, for 1,000 stones and 500 stones. Um, basically, you only have to spend about 5,300 yen. Uh, for me, in Singapore dollars, it's about roughly $64 sing. Uh, for the States, for those people in the States, probably might be around, um, I would say, 55 USD. <coughs> I'm just giving a rough estimation, so don't fault me on that. <coughs> anyway guys, I highly recommend buying it because it's discounted um, and of course uh, they will give you the um, stones that you can actually have exchange in the Chaos Exchange um, for any lucky notes, uh, lucky stones that you actually need for your episode plates. 
um, which is always a fantastic idea. So anyway guys, I'm going to pull 10 plates each from each banner. Um, I'm going to save up another um, few singing stones for Makinas in the future. Alright guys, so let's get down to pulling it. Um, I probably might want to <coughs> start with Freya first because, well, um, she, her plate is definitely the better choice currently for this event. Uh, I definitely want to get Reyna's plate because I have yet to unlock Reyna's resonance costume as well. So having extra points to unlock Freya's costume will definitely um, boost my morale. <laughs> in terms of gameplay visuals um, but it's definitely not a must for me um, but definitely getting a better 6 star plate for this current event is definitely a, a beneficial point for myself so let's do this so one pool of 10 plates uh, on each banner and then of course we're going to leave it as that and hopefully uh, RNG Jesus is with me so let's do this guys so as usual what we are looking for is a golden orb at the beginning and of course five valkyries or six freaks then from there hopefully if the orb is not golden it changes to golden and as many red color boxes after that if not um, rainbow boxes are always welcome and of course hopefully at the end of it after the two blings uh, we'll get rainbow boxes uh, from the red boxes that we currently have or if not well Reyna pops up and then blesses the red boxes to become rainbow boxes uh, we've got lots of chances to try and get uh, six star plates or five star plates whichever one you want to call it by um, yeah so hopefully uh, okay let's do some prayers one two three oh nice three with a golden orb that's fantastic there we go so we've definitely gotten one of our uh, boxes to be a 5 star uh -huh. So hopefully we'll get some plates that actually, I actually need a Mirage plate um, to level up So that I can actually use it for my score boosting or rather the point boosting in this current event There we go Okay, so it's definitely not Freya um, But I think this Min Mei plate is going to evolve uh, this should be my second copy. Alright, here we go. No evolution. Oh, nice. So I've got I've gotten this plate um secret bot unlocked already, so definitely gonna help me boost more. There we go, so it's gonna evolve. Very nice. So we got a Nyan Nyan um um for cost costume for me May. Um yeah, so that's pretty awesome. There we go, so secret bot unlocked for Ranka Sekantiko plate. Alright. So, not too bad, um, considering that um, we did get a 5 star plate to evolve to a 6 star, so that's not too bad. Alright, so hopefully I get Reyna's plate. Uh, we didn't get any new plates uh, for Freya's costume mode, that's kind of sad. So, alright, let's see if we do better in this one. Right, so let's get down to it straight. One, two, three, four, five. All right, no golden orb, so there is still a chance. Oh my dear lord, there is no red boxes. Okay, so we're gonna have to rely on um, Reina coming up to evolve the plate. Hopefully, she gives me her own plate. <laughs> all right, skipping all the common ones. Okay, lots of secret. Oh, I think this is new. I've not seen this before. Reyna? Yay! So Reyna has come to bless the box. And hopefully... Yes! We got her plate! Yes! Yes! I I don't know whether it's a jinxing, uh, a reverse jinx, but I did mention that I hopefully see Reyna come and give me her plate. So, alright, so Hayate and his father, that's pretty nice. I think that's a new plate. So, I think if this was a new plate for me, it's definitely evolved right now. Alright, so... Okay, I don't think she'll come out. Oh, yes! I love repeats. <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, I, I, I really, really appreciate repeat plates. Oh, so yeah, so that plate was actually brand new. So yeah, it's definitely evolved right now. So fantastic. So, hey! Huh. Okay, so I've not gotten <laughs> Reyes Blau Bloom costume until now. Okay, that's, that's hilarious. Alright, so here we go, uh, all for one, yeah, so she's our, um, 
green hat. Um, what was the um, My Hero Academia main character's name again? <laughs> so she's a Macron Delta version of him. Um, oh dear lord, I cut his name slipped my mind. So um, my hero of Academia fans, please don't kill me. Uh, I I do follow the series and the manga. So oh Deku, Deku, his name is Deku. <laughs> and I I just completely forgot his name because my mind is not thinking straight right now, and I'm still very sick as you can hear from my voice. Uh, so, alright guys, so that's pretty much it for my gacha pools this time around. I'm not going to spend all my singing stones um, because I want to keep them for future plates. Um, especially for Ranka's um, future gacha pools. I'm planning a much bigger gacha pool video in the future for Ranka. Uh, hopefully I've saved up enough singing stones by then. I want to pool until I get her plate evolved. Uh, so that's my plan for the future. and. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm leaving the singing stones as it is for now because I'm gonna save up. Uh, I'm gonna leave 500 singing stones for Makina's um, gacha when it comes out. Hopefully, uh, I know Makina's plate is definitely gonna be a support plate because um, usually in the events with uh, two gachas coming out, um, one of them will be definitely the center plate and the others will be a live plate. So, never enough uh, live support plates um, because, well, only one plate will be a center plate while the rest of the remaining plates on your other universe are all live support plates so with that in mind hopefully all this information is useful to you guys and of course as usual if you like what you see in here do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icons whenever a new video comes up you'll be notified straight away uh yeah and hopefully these videos do help you out with your gameplay in Utan Macross. And yeah, thank you guys as much as I want to say it, uh, as many times as I can. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I finally hit the 450 mark subscriber point. We are only 50 uh, subscribers away from hitting the 500 point. Um, and from there, I'm gonna announce uh, once we've hit the 500 mark, I'm gonna do a giveaway uh, for my YouTube channel and of course along with the Mac um, Macross Space Time the Culture uh, Facebook group. If you guys aren't familiar, I'm actually administrating that Facebook group. Uh, I do update lots of Macross stuff as well on that Facebook group. So do keep a lookout once I'm uh, hitting the 500 subscriber mark. Uh, if you guys can help me hit that goal, I'll be very very grateful. Uh, yeah, so look forward to the giveaway once I've uh, reached the, the mark. Uh, at that point of time, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Till then, bye!